everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. With Yoshiko-san? But sis, why would you take the trouble to do that? I mean, you see Yoshiko-san every day during class, don't you? You can always talk to her. <sighs> would you be quiet? Go away. Stop bugging me. Let me see her diary, too. Absolutely not. I would rather be sick than let you see my friend's diary. I say it's much better to let her see it than be ill. Listen, Mom. What is it? Come on, Mom. This is no time for you to stand there leisurely and cook that soup. Sis has gotten herself in big trouble. What is this about your sister? I just found out that Sis is exchanging diaries with Yoshiko-san today. So she might be up to something really bad and dangerous. It could be the beginning of her becoming a bad kid. You should be careful. Oh, what an imagination, Maruko. Sis won't plan anything bad with Yoshiko-san. Mom doesn't know anything about the world. Well, she won't get my sympathy if she ends up crying later. Hey, uh, Grandpa? Will you help me stop Sis from becoming a bad kid or a street rat? What's that? Sis is becoming a bad kid? Did she get her hair permed? She hasn't had her hair perm yet, but that's probably what she's planning. It seems like she's up to something real bad. Oh, that's a big problem. Hmm. So this is the notebook of secret plans. And then? Oh, this is... This is... It's not a plan to become a bad kid. It's about Yoshiko-san. It's a worry about love. Uh. It says Koyama-kun. Yes, that's correct. It's Koyama-kun. Wow, I wonder what Koyama-kun is like. I'm a Cupid for love. Grandpa, it's Cupid. Oh, yeah. I, I meant Cupid. <laughs> Send your shiko san love to Koyama-kun and, and give their, their love wings, wings to fly. fly. Later that night. We should keep it secret that we saw the diary. We gotta be careful. I got it. I won't say that I read the diary. Oh, by the way, sis. Who? Yoshiko-san has a crush on Koyama-kun, doesn't she? <laughs> no, you silly! And I just told you not to talk about the diary. Hmm? Come on, give me a break. I told you we had to keep it secret that we read the diary. And you said you got it, so why did you just blurt it out? That's right, it's still a secret. You see, I was smart. I didn't say a word about reading the diary, did I? Sometimes I simply can't believe that I'm descended from you. If you talk about Yoshiko-san, it means the same as confessing that you saw it. It's all over. Ah, it's over? Yoshiko-san and Koyama could end it in all. In short, this means both of you have read the diary. <laughs> I promise I didn't. Neither of us would take such bold action. Uh, the comment about Yoshiko-san and love is just Grandpa's hunch, isn't it? Uh, oh, yes, that's right. I had a dream last night, and I, um... It was a dream about a holy god, or Buddha, or a divine spirit. Listen to Mozo. Is it true that Yoshiko-san of Class 2 in the 6th grade has a crush on Koyama-kun? I must know. Why don't you ask Sis about it? Yes! And that's how it happened. 
If Buddha asked you to ask Sis, then you can't ignore his request, can you, Grandpa? <laughs> yes, that's right. No, nope, it's, it's not, not working. working. That's how it started. Sis hid the diary and cut me off last night. You can't blame her. It was yours and your grandpa's fault. It was bad to read someone's diary secretly. I regret it. I shouldn't have done it. I hope your sister forgives you and your grandpa very soon. Say, why don't we start exchanging diaries between us? Yeah, let's do it. Shall we try it? It could be really fun. Yeah, let's start doing it today. Oh. Huh? Nagasawa Fujiki, are you two exchanging diaries? Can I take a look? No way. I didn't write in my diary to show it to you or just anyone. Don't say that. Let me see it. Just a peek. Fine. Just a quick peek, okay? Don't do it, Fujiki-kun. Yay, let me see it. <laughs> Dear Fujiki-kun, I still have nightmares about the fire that I witnessed ages ago. It's a very scary dream. The fire is still burning deep in the recesses of my mind. And that makes my character depressing. Yours, Nagasawa. I wish I hadn't read it. Right now, you're thinking that you shouldn't have read it, right? <coughs> Maru-chan, I see you made the mistake of reading someone's diary again, huh? Hanami-fan! Sakura-fan! If you're to exchange diaries, will you let me on the fun as well? For you to san Uh, what'll we do? Should we let her in as well? Tama-chan is thinking very hard. It's very unusual for Tama-chan to suffer like this. She always accepts anything without putting up much of a fight. This must stop! Look, I got it, Tama-chan. I'll tell her she can't do it. boyota san what has happened to you? Yeah, she's crying so hard. boyota san please tell me what's wrong! <laughs> Sakura-san and Hanami-san are me. They won't let me be a part of their diary exchange. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Maru-chan, what should we do now? There's nothing we can do about it now. I feel like crying as well. Sakura-san, <laughs> Hanami-san, it's common courtesy for classmates to be nice to each other, you know. Hey, wait a minute. That huh? voice is... Maruro-kun. If you and sis classmates should be nice to each other, then you should really set an example. So why don't you exchange diaries with Fida San and show us first? What? What? what did you say? I think Hanawa is right, you know. Boo. You know, it's no use exchanging diaries with someone whom you don't get along with, Boo. <laughs> That's true. Maru kun should exchange diaries first. Maru! Why don't you exchange diaries with Fuyuda? <laughs> yes, I understand. I'm a real swale, and frankly speaking, a man. With the way things are turning out, I will exchange diaries with Fuyuta-san. No way! I don't want to exchange with Maruo! I want to exchange diaries with Hanami-san and Sakura-san! I'm a real swale, actually feel quite glad and relieved that Fuyuta-san refused to exchange diaries with me, but it makes me feel a bit sad, too. <laughs> Fuyuta-san? I, I didn't know that you wanted to exchange diaries with Maru-chan and me so badly. Stop crying and we can all exchange diaries. Good. <laughs> uh, things took a surprise turn and became a big deal. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is something wrong? His shirt says Koyama of class two and sixth grade. Is he the boy that Yoshiko-san has a crush on? Man, I wonder what part of him Yoshiko-san finds attractive. Let's go. Yo, Nagisi, so did my gym clothes fit you all right, pal? Hey, Koyama, you saved me. I totally forgot about the club activity I have today. I'll return it to you after I wash it. No need to worry about washing. Never mind that. Well, good luck. Koyama is such a nice and handsome guy. What? Did you say that it's better for Yoshiko-san to give up Koyama-kun? Yeah, I feel they don't look nice together, you know what I mean? <laughs> what makes you say that all of a sudden? I saw him today, a boy named Koyama-kun. And, well, I... <sighs> I don't know how to put it. He just seems to be a different type from Yoshiko-san. 
Anyway, the matter about Yoshiko-san was on my mind, so I can't do anything else. I know there'll be someone else for Yoshiko-san. You don't need to trouble yourself with Yoshiko-san, okay? Here, sis. I just wrote a letter to Yoshiko-san. Will you give it to her tomorrow? A letter? <sighs> Look, don't you have anything better to do than meddle in someone else's private affairs, Maruko? Something else to do? Uh, I was so caught up with Yoshiko-san's life that I've totally forgotten about the diary exchange. That's troublesome. It's already 10 o'clock. I'm sleepy. I'll make something up to write. The next day. Vicarathon, you don't write anything good enough to warn exchanging diaries. You're so boring. I'm offended to hear that from Fuyata-san. My mind was totally occupied with the matter of Yoshiko-san last night. Sakura, let me read your diary and see what you wrote. We showed you ours yesterday, didn't we? Nagasawa, Fujiki. Uh, well, I was, uh, I was preoccupied with the matter about Yoshiko-san last night. I didn't write anything important. And who is Yoshiko-san? Dunno. Who cares who that is? Anyway, just let us see it. Hey, you're stubborn. It's not very interesting reading anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yoshiko-san is... Sakura-san, your sister's letter. Why does she say these horrible things? Yoshiko-san. She says that Kayama-kun and I don't look nice together. Yoshiko-san. In the meantime, Maruko was... I have to say, you're just not worth exchanging diaries with, Maruko. Yeah, I mean, what a waste of paper. No, guys. I was just worried about Yoshiko-san. <laughs> Maruko has no idea that at that moment Yoshiko-san, the very person she was concerned with, is shedding useless tears because of her meddlesome letter. Well. Yeah, this is bad. Everyone looks down on Maruko. Eh, so Nino Mia Kinjiro read books while carrying firewood on his back? Oh. He even read by the firelight when he was boiling water. He has a strong connection with firewood. That isn't an intended message of the biography. Listen, Mom. What is it? Nino Mio Kinjiro is a great person. I'll follow his example. Oh, really? Then why don't you start by doing your homework? Wait, why start with homework? Nino Mia Kinjiro didn't get homework. Well, Nino Mia Kinjiro liked to read and study. I suppose he would love to do homework. Nah, that isn't what I had in mind. I want to try to go through some real hardship, Mom. But why would you try to go through hardship? I'm going to iron our clothes now. Will you watch the pot for me? Yeah. Boy, she asked me to do an idle errand. I want to try something like Minomiya Kinjiro. I don't have time to watch the pot on the stove. Huh? I got it! I should study while watching the fire on the stove. I'll turn the light off. The light from the stove is just right. It makes me feel like I'm Nino Mia Kinjiro. So what is this? It's really scorched. Uh. I asked Maruko to watch the stove, but she wanted to be just like Nino Mia Kinjiro. What does that mean? Listen, Dad. Hey, listen, Mom. Isn't Helen Keller so amazing? She had a triple handicap, but she overcame it all. Certainly, Helen Keller was a great person, but I respect her teacher Sullivan, too. Yeah, so now I want to be just like her or Teacher Sullivan one day. Eh, uh, you want to be like Teacher Sullivan, Maruko? If you want my respect, why don't you become an abacus teacher first? <laughs> huh. How dare they? They just made fun of me. I had a story about Mother Teresa after Helen Keller, but I won't tell it to them. Anyway, what a great person Mother Teresa was. She helped many people in need. All right, I'll try to be exactly like Mother Teresa. Grandpa, do you have any troubles? Uh, do I have troubles? Let me see. Some troubles I might have. Troubles, troubles, uh... Just tell me quickly! Hmm. Don't I have any troubles? Right now, he is troubled that he has no troubles. Oh, forget it. I'll go look for someone else who has genuine troubles. Uh, 
No, Maruko! <coughs> Don't abandon me like that! Why do you need to rely on her? You have no troubles. Hey, sis. Do you have any troubles? Yes, I have troubles. Yippee! It's my turn to perform. Just tell me what your troubles are. It's useless to tell you. You can't help. Why is that? I might be able to help you. I'm so charitable. Of course you can. It'll be a waste of my breath. How dare you say that? It doesn't cost you anything. Just tell it to me. Can you understand the math problems we get in sixth grade? I have trouble with my homework. I'm not needed here. The next day. Oh, Marichan, are you reading Fabre's Insect Adventures? That's great of you. The great one is Fabre, not Maruko. I also read Ninomiya Kinjiro and the Nightingale and some others. All of them are so great. Hey, Sir Kurikun, have you read books about Madame Curie yet? Hmm? Curier? What is that? None, none. It's not Curier. I mean Curie. She's the person who discovered radium. R radium What is that? Is it a food? Radium is a chemical element which is found in a mineral called pitchblende, and she found it. Well, anyway, why don't you read it? You can learn a lot. Really? Curier it is. Maru-chan, it's Curie. Let me see. Madame Curie, where is it? Where is it? Oh, huh? so sakura san huh? Why in the world are you here in the library? This is the very last place you would visit on your own accord, isn't it? I am offended. <gasps> this can't be. I'm not here for the election of class representative next term. <gasps> You, you read my mind like I was a completely open book! Maru-chan, I found Madame Curie for you! Huh? Really? Reading a biography? That means you're trying to become an educated person to get respect from others. Hey, Maru, couldn't stop it. You speak about being class representative all the time, but are you going to be class representative after you grow up? Let me tell you, I'm not bothered by the immediate present. I'm reading biographies in order to grow up to be an educated person in the future. <laughs> How incredibly foolish is Sakura-san. <laughs> and she looks like she's beaming to me. I wonder if my eyesight has gotten worse. Better get it checked. I'm home. Oh, hey, Mom. Where's the microscope? It's in the back of the living room closet. In the closet? Don't do anything silly. It's natural that you would do something silly. So I wonder where I can find radium. I guess it's only in the lab of a big college. For the time being, maybe I'll look at my dandruff instead. I may discover something no one else has, if I look really, really hard. Good thing I have a lot. Mm. Wow! So pretty! I'm surprised dandruff is so pretty. Madame Curie would be surprised and she might say, wonderful to me. Hey, Grandpa, listen, listen! What is it? What's the matter? I made a great discovery. It's big. Come with me. A great discovery? Tell me, what is it, Maruko? Ooh! This, this is very pretty. And what is it? Oh, it's my dandruff. Oh! Maruko, even her dandruff is precious. I shall cherish it from the very bottom of my own heart. An old man cherishes his granddaughter's dandruff as beautiful by Tomozo, a haiku of the mind. Let's check out dust under the microscope. It might be pretty, too. All right, let's get dust and take a look. I may think even dust can be pretty. I may cherish it by Tomozo, a haiku of the mind. Grandpa, I put different kinds of small insects in these jars. And I'm going to study them like Fabre. Oh, some ants and many flies. And look at this clock I found here. I read Edison took apart many things to experiment. Oh, Maruko is really great. This is wonderful. Your future is so promising. I'm proud of you, so proud of you. And that night... Maruko! Why did you break the clock? Well, I, uh, Edison did. This has nothing to do with Edison. What are you going to do with this? What shall I do? Huh? Uh, there are bugs in my room! So many bugs! Huh? Huh? The insects escaped! The jars must have fallen from the bookshelf! What are you going to do with those ants and bugs? What shall I do? Don't ask me! You can catch all of them by yourself! Hey, wait.
Hey, where's Maruko tonight? I'm not sure. I was having a happy moment with Maruko several minutes ago, you know. She's catching insects that have gotten away from her jars. To make matters worse, she broke an alarm clock trying to mimic Edison. She is so helpless. So she's still trying to be great, huh? If she wants to get our respect, she should study silently and help out here. I caught the insects, so I want to eat now. Oh, here you come. How was it, Maruko? Do you feel great like Fab right now? Actually, I just feel like I'm getting more silly. I bet you are! <laughs> Being silly is fine. It's funny after all, isn't it? Sure, it's funny for you. Ayoshimo Yukio composed a good song. He's so cool. He is. Ayoshimo Yukio, Ueki Hitoshi, Crazy Cats. Hey, Dad, I want to join the Crazy Cats group and sing those songs. So how can I do that? Ah, I have no idea how to do that. I bet it's difficult, though. I want to join, I want to join. I want to sing a song like that on TV. Stop, silly. You sing terribly, remember? Then I want to compose songs like Ayoshima Yukio and be famous. Stop it. Ayoshima Yukio is a great person. He is a member of the Diet. You can't be like him. Listen, Maruko, no one can become great instantly without work. Forget it. Fine with me. I know I'm either going to be a member of Crazy Cats or Ayoshima Yukio. Even Edison was looked down upon when he was a kid. Why? She always gets so angry. She's so helpless. Well, I bet she grows bored of it soon. She may start saying that she wants to be a ballet dancer or a chef tomorrow. <laughs> The song she composed while she was chasing her dream of composing a song is this theme song. Edison is a great man. Pee hurrah, pee hurrah. Duh. I don't understand what she was thinking.